there are two limitations you can face when you are using the LinkedIn free search engine. The first one is a commercial search limit that looks like this. And that's basically LinkedIn blocking you to search too much profiles with the basic search engine because they want you to buy LinkedIn Sales Navigator or LinkedIn Recruiter. This limit resets at midnight every first of the month. And meanwhile, you can't search on LinkedIn anymore. The second limitation is the number of search results. Because with a free LinkedIn search engine, you can only access to the first thousand results of your search. For example, in this search, I got a little bit less than 2 million results, but I got only access to 100 pages of 10 results, so 1,000 results total. In this video, I will show you how to bypass these two limitations with three hacks. So let's dive right in with the first technique, getting LinkedIn profiles from Google search results. So as you know, Google is scraping all the pages on the web, and this includes LinkedIn profile. And there is a really simple way to get thousands of LinkedIn URLs using Google by using this technique. So what you're going to do is to look, uh, tell Google that you are looking for a specific site. So here you're going to write site linkedin.com slash in here. And this will look only for LinkedIn profiles. And then after that, you can write anything you want. And the really interesting thing here is that you can use Boolean search. If you don't know what Boolean search is, I've added a link to tutorial just right here. So let's say, uh, for example, we are looking for head of sales uh, in France and uh, in the software industry, for example. So here, here I'm looking for the exact expression head of sales and here the word France and software. So let's press enter. And here you can see I got tons of LinkedIn URLs. And if I click, for example, on this profile here, and if I do a control F here and I look for the keywords head of sales here, I got friends and I should have software somewhere. So I think it's hidden maybe here. So yeah, here. So you got the three keywords you were looking for in uh, this LinkedIn profile. And this is true for every profile on, on the search results. And here you can see that you have access to um, 80,000 uh, results. So much more than in the LinkedIn search. So the second step here is to uh, use a tool to extract the Google search results. And for that, we are going to use Scale SERP. I added the link in the description. When you have created your Scale SERP account, you get on this page, and this is pretty simple, actually. You just need to um, get the URL, um, copy paste it into the URL field. You can also write the search. So here, take the search and put it here. but I personally prefer to, to put the URL. And then uh, we're going to set the pagination. So here on this search, I had uh, 10 results per page. And let's say I want to uh, extract the first five pages. Uh, one thing to know about Google is that you can uh, modify the number of um, search results you get on the um, on the page. So if you want to like extract faster and more uh, profiles, you can go on settings here. So go on google.com, settings, search settings, and then here um, put this to 100 and you will get 100 uh, search results per page. So, but for this example, we will keep it to 10. So um, the scrapping is, uh, is fast. Um, so yeah, let's say I want the first five pages and search results per pages. Then I just need to click here and SkillSerp will get the search results. Okay, so here we got some code. So my bad because I, I forgot to precise the output here. So here we want a file, so we want a CSV. So you go on output and you click on CSV here and then you click on send API request. Here you got the results, it's pretty quick. So you got everything here and you need to click here to download the CSV file. So I'm on the file right now and you can see that uh, the result is pretty clean. In this column, I got all the LinkedIn URLs of my prospect. And in this column, I got uh, the title. So what you could do here, like to separate, for example, the first name, last name, uh, and the job title is to use like a Google Sheet formula to separate like uh, the first space and then use the dash here 
separate um, the um, you know the job titles from the name. So I won't do the tutorial for that, but you can easily do that uh, on Google Sheet. On this file, I got 50 lines, but you could easily get thousands of LinkedIn URLs like this. So you can see that this technique is pretty efficient. The only drawback is that you can't use filters like degree of connection, industry, or company size, for example. The second technique to bypass LinkedIn search limit is to search for people following hashtags. So to look for people following hashtags, you can go on the LinkedIn search here, and write, for example, hashtag call email. And here you will see here the hashtag called email and all the people that have liked, post, or commented something uh, with the hashtag or called email. So here in this post, you get the hashtag called email and you get access to all these posts. And the interesting thing here is you get access to all the post likers and commenters. So potentially if you are selling cold email services or cold email software, there is potentially some good prospects for you here because they're interested by this topic. So you can, you know, scroll here and look for interesting posts. Uh, for example, this one here, this guy is writing some, you know, some advice about cold email. So potentially the likers and the commenters are people doing cold email. So I may you know, send messages to them if I'm doing um, cold email services. So, and what we're gonna do here is to extract the post commenters and likers. So let's say I want to extract all the people that have liked or commented this post. I'm going to click here, click on copy link to post, and then go on phantombuster.com. So I will also leave the link in the description. And here go to solution, LinkedIn, and right post here and you can see that i got two actions i can do link post commenter export or link post liker export so for this one we're going to do the post likers so i'm going to click on use this phantom here so you need to download the chrome extension if you have not done it once you have downloaded the chrome extension you just need to click here and they will add your cookies and then you copy paste the url of the post here click on save here you don't need to care about that and you click on save again and then you click on launch. And Phantom Buster will extract all the people that have liked this post. So first name, last name, company name, degree of connection, and more information. So here the extraction is finished and I can preview the file. So you can see that I get the LinkedIn URL, name, job, degree connection, and that's pretty much it. And the good thing here is that uh, you have a really nice icebreaker for your attribute messages because you can use the post for your icebreaker and send a message like, hey, I've seen your commented this post two days ago. I'm building this tool. I'm you know, providing this service. And this is a great start for a conversation. Obviously, the limit here is that you can only filter based on interest hashtags, but not on uh, specific variables like job titles, company size, company industry, etc. The third technique you can use to bypass LinkedIn search limit is to simply create multiple LinkedIn accounts. So once you reach the limit on one account, you just create another account and you'll work with like two or three accounts depending on your needs. What you can do to easily manage multiple LinkedIn accounts is to create different Chrome sessions. So for that, you need to use uh, Google Chrome. But here, for example, you can see that here I am on LinkedIn profile and here, I am another one because I have multiple Chrome profile like this. So you just need to click on here, the icon and select, you know, your profile and it will open a profile with a different Chrome session. So you can be uh, logging in two LinkedIn accounts at the same time. So for you, if you don't have several Chrome session yet, you can just click on add and just set up a new Chrome profile. But even if you are using multiple LinkedIn accounts and you want to extract this search result uh, into CSVs, the extraction limit for the LinkedIn free search engine is really low. You can only extract 1000 uh, leads per day. And here I'm talking about the search results and not even the profiles. For the profiles, you can only extract 80 profiles per day. So that's a really low amount. Let me show you what is the difference. So I've said you can extract up to 1000 profiles per day with the LinkedIn free search engine, but you will only get these data. So profiling, name, job, and degree of connection, and that's it. And that's gonna be a problem, especially if you want to find the emails of these people, because the email finders generally, they take as an input, first name, last name, at least the company name, and you will be have much better results if you also provide the company website.
because the way email finders works is that they take the first name, the last name, the company website, and then they try different patterns like first letter of the first name and then the family name, you know, domain.com, etc. They try different patterns or they try to find it on the web. But if you don't provide the company name nor the website, the email finders won't be able to find the emails of your prospect. And even if you provide only the company name, the email finders will go on Google like write the company name on Google and take like the first results. But this works if, you know, the, the company name is really special, like welcome to the jungle.com, you know, that is a recruiting website. So this is a really specific name. So obviously the first Google result will be the right company. But if you are looking for like ABC agency, there will be like 100 maybe agencies name like that, like abcagency.com, abcagency.co, abcagency.uk, abc.com.io, etc. So it will be really difficult for the email finder to find the right company of your prospect. That's why if you are planning to give this data to an email finder, you need to uh, make a complete scrapping. So the search result, the profile and the company page. And with the free uh, LinkedIn search engine, you can only do that for 80 people per day. That's a really, really low amount. That's why guys, and I'm telling you about how to hack LinkedIn free search engine from the beginning of this video. But if you take cold outreach seriously and you want to make cold outreach your main lead generation channel, you will need to buy a sales navigator license. So it's true that sales navigator costs a uh, hundred bucks a month, but you really got a good array with this tool because you get unlimited people search. So you don't need to use any hacks. You get access to up to um, 2,500 results per search. So here I have more than 5,000, but I can still uh, see and extract the first 2,500 results. And also if you use a tool like Evaboot to extract your leads, you can extract up to 2,500 complete profiles per day. And by complete profile, I mean first name, last name, company name, company website, number of connection, company industry, company size, exact number of employee in the company. So a tons of interesting LinkedIn data you can use in your CRM or your LinkedIn outreach campaign. Okay, so let's say I want to look for like um, head of sales in France and you, I got my search results. So I just need here to click on extract with Eveboot here and to name the search like this. And then Eveboot will extract uh, the data. So once your extraction is finished, you can click here to download the file and you will see all the data that we can get and you will get all the data you need to provide to uh, an email finder. So you can see here, first name, last name, position, company name, website, company domain, location, LinkedIn URL. So the thing is we will also convert the sales navigator URL into LinkedIn URLs, company industry, even the company specialties that provide a little bit more details on the company activity, the exact employee count, and here the employee range, company location, the number of connection to like filter uh, fake profiles, for example. So many data points you can use uh, in your prospecting. And the good thing is that you have all the data you need to have the best input possible for email finders. And with Evaboot, you can give the data to an email finder in just one click. So here I click on enrich leads and Evaboot will add the emails into the file. So for example, if I take uh, this search here and I download the file, you see that Evaboot will add all the emails at the end of the file on the right here and the discovery rate is pretty good and we also verify the email. So we'll say that the email is valid. It means that uh, we are 100% sure that the email exists or unknown. It means that uh, we can verify if the email exists because the email server is scheduled. If you want to know more about how Sales Navigator and Evaboot can help you generate qualified lead list, you can watch this video here. It's a 40 minute tutorial where I explain everything you need to know about how to get the most out of Sales Navigator. So thanks for watching guys and I see you in the next one.